chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we shall now take up some miscellaneous questions on identities these questions will help you understand rearrangement because rearrangement the the trick the art of rearrangement is the backbone of algebra if you understand rearrangement properly if you can start observing equations from that angle then you will not find any problem in algebra let us now start with our questions we'll start with our first question now here he says if p by 2p square plus 5p plus 2 is equal to 1 by 6 then what is p plus 1 by p here it is all about observation we observe that this is p square this is p and this is nothing so if we divide it by p then it will leave me 1p here remove this p and 1p down so i have a possibility of matching this expression by a division of this one so if you don't still understand what i have said then follow these steps i am taking them from zero level p by 2 p square plus 5 p plus 2 is equal to 1 by 6 this has been given to us so to put it a bit more readable and simpler form let us transpose it transpose transpose is bringing the numerator to denominator or in common language you can say we'll invert both the sides upside down so we'll write it as 2p square plus 5p plus 2 by p is equal to 6 by 1 so when we have inverted it no changes will occur it simply moving it upside down moving it upside down now on the left hand side we'll we'll uh, move this p below each of the terms see this is how we can do which implies 2p square by p plus 5p by p plus 2 by p is equal to 6 we have moved p p below each of these terms which implies now 1p will cancel with p square it will leave me 2p p will entirely be cancelled so i'll get 5 here plus this 2 by p i'll bring as such which is equal to 6 so now i'll bring these p's together bring p together so we get 2p by p plus 5 is equal to 6 so i'll put them together now we can take out two common 2 into p plus 1 by p plus 5 is equal to 6 next i'll take it as 2p plus 1 by p is equal to now this 5 can be moved to the other side i'll write it as 6 minus 5 which is equal to 1 which implies p plus 1 by p is equal to this 1 is here already bring this 2 down so which is equal to 1 by 2 which is the required answer so this was a fairly simple question i have given each and every step but when you are in the exam you can short circuit the steps and quickly arrive at the answer that will take not more than 5 or 6 seconds for this let us move on to our next question In this question he says if x is 11 then what is this big expression The examiner doesn't expect you 
to find out the answer by substituting 11 everywhere and performing long calculations. That is not the expectation. It is expected to be solved by rearrangement of the terms and let me show you how a rearrangement can help us crack this problem. Write it like this x raised to the power minus 12 x raised to the power 4 plus 12 x cube minus 12 x square plus 12 x minus 1. This is what has been given to us. Let us now perform a rearrangement. I will just concentrate on the first two terms first. I will take out x raised to the power 4. It leaves x for x raised to the power 5 and minus 12. Since x raised to the power 4 has been taken out, we will be left with x minus 12 plus the remaining term. We haven't touched anything for the remaining term. We will just reproduce it like this only. This is it. Now, we, we have been given x as 11. So, we will put x as 11 in this expression. It will become x raised to the power 4 multiplied by 11 minus 12 plus I am putting these dots for the remaining expression. Which implies 11 minus 12 is what? Minus 1. So, it will give me minus x raised to the power 4. And now I will bring the remaining expression plus 12x cube minus 12x square plus 12x minus 1. I have brought the whole expression. It has now been simplified. Now since I have caught hold of a technique, I will keep on reproducing it. So which implies, so here I will take out x cube common. It leaves minus x here for x raised to the power 4 plus 12. So, x cube will be 12 will be left here and cube will go out and the remaining expression written like this, right, like that only which implies x raised to the power 3 into now this will be minus 11 plus 12 minus 12 x square. I am not doing anything for the remainder expression. I am only dealing with the first part which implies now this will be 12 minus 1 1 only 12 minus 11 will be 1 only so it will be left with 11x cube minus 12x square plus 12x minus 1 now we'll replicate our technique for the first two terms as usual and write it as take out x square common x square into x minus 12 plus the remainder term minus 1. So, this has been rearranged into this one which implies x square into 11 minus 12 plus 12x minus 1 which implies this will be minus 1 minus x square plus 12x minus 1 which implies take out x again x minus x plus 12 minus 1 which implies x into minus 11 plus 12 minus 1 which implies now this will be 1 only x minus 1 which is equal to 11 minus 1 is equal to 10 as the answer. So, the rearrangement has helped us arrive at our answer in a very easy step by step manner. We will take on to our next question now. This is our next question. He says if x is 5 by 18, then what is the value of this expression? So, we our intuition says that 27x cube is same as 3x raised to the power cube because 3, 3, 9, 3, 27 x cube and this one also can be seen from this angle because cube of 6 is 2, 2, 1, 6. So, can you draw a parallel between this formula a cube minus b cube? We can say that a is 3x and b is 1 by 6. So, if I temporarily write a as 3x, 
and b as 1 by 6 then the first part looks similar 3a cube minus b cube so what i'll do is i'll try to write the formula with a cube minus b cube and these substitutions and we'll see how close i get to this term so let us start by doing that so we'll write here a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b this is the formula so we'll start with the right hand side right hand side is equal to now put this a cube it is 3x cube and put b for 1 by 6 minus 3 into a now what is a 3x and what is b b is 1 by 6 put it 1 by 6 here multiplied by now what is a 3x minus b is 1 by 6 so this so let us see simplify it and see how far we can get this will be 27 x cube minus 1 by 216 and this one will be a bit uh, problematic this will be 3 this will be 2 so i'll write it as minus 3x by 2 multiplied by 3x minus 1 by 6 so i have just cancelled out this 3 and 6 to simplify it as far as i can repeat this 27x cube minus 1 by 216 now open this this will be 3x into 3x 9x square by 2 minus 9x square by 2 and this minus and minus will be plus plus it will be 3x by 2 into 6 1 by 6 and this has been adjusted which is equal to now we'll bring these they repeat this 27x cube again minus 1 by 2 1 6 minus 9x square by 2 now this can be adjusted now this will be 3 2 it becomes plus x by 4 now let us see how much this compares with what is asked this falls same 27x cube minus 2 by 1 by 2 1 6 minus 9x square plus x by 4 so this has been asked this is what is required and what is this equal to this is equal to see we started from here it is equal to a minus b whole cube so we'll write it as 3x minus 1 by 6 whole cube now what is x x has been given as 5 by 18 so we'll put a substitution minus 1 by 6 whole cube so where does it take 3 6 so 5 minus 1 by 6 5 minus 1 by 6 whole cube so this is what i get by cancellations and all which is equal to 4 by 6 whole cube now this 4 and 6 they go 2 by 3 whole cube 2 cube is 8 and 3 cube is 27 which is my answer so this is how we get answer in this case it is a mere fitting into the formula for a minus b whole cube we'll now move on to our next question in this he has given a is equal to square root of 7 plus 2 square root of 12 b is square root of 7 minus the only thing that is interesting is a change of sign okay but then what he asks us is a cube plus b cube so we have to find out the sum of a cube and b cube and if we try to substitute things will become ever complicated this means we have to find our way out with the help of certain formulas let us try to think how can a cube plus b cube be reached one way is to have a look at this formula a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b so this is one thing that is going to help us this can be 
opened arrived at if we know a plus b and a b so we will we we'll need to know the value of this and this also now first of all we will try to find out the value of a plus b but even if we try to blankly add them this is not going to simplify anywhere because super square root is there if you add it will not lead us anywhere so what we will do is we will first of all calculate because we will in any case need a b let us start by opening its value first that is possibly easy i think because plus and minus will lead to cancellations because this is the only difference between these two expressions what is ab ab is super square root into 7 plus 2 square root of 12 multiplied by super square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 12 so which is equal to this square root i can put it over the entire story and write it as 7 plus 2 square root of 12 multiplied by 7 minus 2 square root of 12. So this is what I get which is equal to entire square root divided by this is a plus b a minus b so I'll write it as 7 square minus b square so I'll write it like this which is equal to the entire square root of this is 49 minus what is this this is 2 square into square of square root of 12 so this is what it will be which is ultimately equal to square root of 49 minus 4 multiplied by 12 square root of 12 will go with this 2 so 12 and 4 so what does it lead me to 49 minus 48 which is equal to 1 so this is what I have right now AB is equal to 1 AB has given me a lot of confidence because it is only 1 now let me go for A plus B so what I'll do is I'll take the help of this formula a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Okay, what is a square? a is equal to square root of 7 plus 2 square root of 12. This means a square if I square both the sides a square will be a square will be this this will vanish because of that square. So I'll be left with 7 plus 2 square root of 12. So I'll write it as 7 plus 2 square root of 12. And similarly, coming to b square, this will cause this to vanish. So I'll have 7 minus 2 square root of 12 plus ab will be 1 as we have already determined. So this will be plus 2, which is equal to so. Uh, this we can easily see plus 2 square root minus 2 square root they will be cancelled off this will be 14 7 7 14 and 2 16 so this leads me to a plus b is equal to square root of 16 which is equal to 4 it is more accurately written as plus minus 4 now equipped with these two values a plus b equal to this and a b equal to 1 let us now turn our attention to this one so what is a plus b whole cube uh, this i'll write it as a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3 this will be 3 into 1 into a plus b i haven't yet substituted a plus b I'll wait for the right moment or I could have done also no issues try to put a plus b as plus 4 and see if one of the answer matches then do the same with minus 4 I'll do it with plus 4 so if we write it as 4 plus 4 it will be 4 cube equal to 
प्लस थ्री इंटू वन इंटू फोर सो नाउ दिस कैन बी टेकन आउट वॉट इज दिस फोर क्यूब सिक्सटी फोर टेक दिस ट्वेल्व टू दिस साइड एंड इट विल बिकम माइनस ट्वेल्व सो ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी टू इफ दिस इज इन ऑप्शन देन यू आर ओके और यू कैन ट्राई सब्सटीट्यूटिंग एज माइनस फोर ऑल्सो सो विच इफ यू वॉन्ट वी कैन डू ऑन आर ऑफ साइट दिस विल बी माइनस फोर होल क्यूब आई विल चेंज द कलर ऑफ माई पेन सो इट इज माइनस फोर होल क्यूब इक्वल टू ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस थ्री इंटू वन इंटू ए प्लस बी इज नाउ टेकन एज माइनस फोर सो दिस विल बी माइनस सिक्सटी फोर इक्वल टू ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब दिस विल बी माइनस ट्वेल्व एंड इफ यू सॉल्व इट टेक माइनस ट्वेल्व टू दिस साइड इट विल बी माइनस सिक्सटी फोर प्लस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब which gives a cube plus b cube as minus 52 so depending on your options the answer will be plus minus 52 so you should take a special care of this question try to solve it on your notebooks and come back to see the solution and especially see how logically i arrived at the solution what my thinking pattern was and how i was a little bit of brave also little bit of brave in tackling these larger square roots so let us move on to our next question now chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again